This is a special edition of WeatherScope with the latest winter storm update. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Rick Griffin, live in the Weather Channel Forecast Center, covering uh, the massive winter storm which continues to envelop the uh, eastern one-third of the nation. Roads already very icy in the south, stretching from Georgia and Alabama up into the Carolinas and southeast Virginia. We have noticed thunder showers in Florida this morning. Of course, the big story is the snowfall with this developing tremendous winter storm, and snow amounts have been heavy. Recently, we got a report from Sky Valley in the northeast Georgia mountains of a foot of new snow. Snow amounts of a foot or more have been recorded in western North Carolina on northward through the mountains of central and southern uh, west. Virginia and more snow to come. Snow, of course, has been the weather story in parts of the south. In fact, getting around here in Clarksville, Tennessee, in the northwest part of the state was rather tricky and it should stay, stay that way through uh, today. Yesterday, you received about uh, four inches of light snow and the snow and flurries continue to fall this morning. Meanwhile, power lines were down and the surf was rough on the outer banks of North Carolina last night as a result of the storm. There were a few snowflakes in the air, but most of the precipitation came in the form of rain, and the rain and wind continues on the outer banks uh, this morning. Uh, heavy snow again, we're talking about that. And heavy snow is uh, definitely the weather story around Washington, D.C. 10 inches of accumulation so far at Washington National Airport. And at D.C. right now, the snow is falling at one to uh, two inches per hour. So it's a major storm in D.C. A blizzard warning is in effect. So we do expect the winds to pick up and the snow to begin to uh, blow and drift uh, later on today. Of course, uh, Jeff Morrow is reporting live from D.C. And he'll be back with us at half past the hour. Right now, though, we're going to go to uh, Jill Brown, who's in New York City, covering the event live for us. Jill, it looks like the uh, first snowflakes are just beginning to filter down. So, Jill, basically, uh, folks are aware that the storm is coming. I know yesterday we had, uh, uh, there's a little bit of a question mark as to whether the snow shield will get that far north, but uh, I'm sure folks are out uh, preparing for this developing winter storm situation. Okay, thank you very much. Jill Brown, live in New York City. Jill will be back with us at half past the hour, as well as Jeff Morrow, who's in Washington, D.C., where the snow is falling heavily at this time. I mentioned about 10 inches so far in Washington, D.C. As we go to the maps, we can see that snow amounts have been very heavy in the mid-Atlantic region. Uh, amounts, again, of a foot or more. Roanoke, Virginia, has picked up uh, 15 inches of accumulation, and we've had reports of uh, two feet of new snow in the southern and central mountains of West Virginia, western North Carolina, heavy snows there, and the mountains of uh, northeast Georgia as well. Atlanta's had an inch or two of snow and roadways are an icy mess, so if you have travel plans, be sure to uh, take extra caution if you're out and about this morning. Low pressure now, coastal Carolinas, widespread precipitation shield with it uh, all along the east coast. Most of it is snow, some freezing rain and sleet, southeast Virginia on into the Carolinas. And again, in Atlanta, the snow fell earlier. It's beginning to taper off, but temperatures will stay uh, below freezing today, so the snow that fell is likely to stick around, and that means uh, highways will be a mess. Well, we continue to cover the storm. We will be all day long from 
the Weather Channel, of course, and live from New York City and Washington, D.C., more at half past the hour. Right now, though, let's go back to the studio with Vivian. Well, thank you very much, Rick. I tell you what, a major winter storm has dumped the snows across northern Georgia and heading all along the uh, northeastern coastline. We'll give you all the details, the specifics on our forecast in just a moment. Right now, though, let's check on the entire nation because not only are we watching the system along the eastern seaboard, but there's another that we're watching, and it's getting ready to come on shore the Pacific Northwest. We've already had some rain showers reported this morning in Seattle and along the coast of Oregon. Notice the nation's midsection, though. You'll, you'll be spared from any heavy rains or the heavy snows that we're expecting with this storm or with this one as high pressure settles in from Minnesota into Texas. And I know we have the playoff games today. So it's